What's going on everybody? It's Eric Ray with the back here and in today's video I'm gonna be going over three very important tips You need to know that will improve your defense overnight in Madden 20 These tips are very specific to how people play Madden 20 and if you can implement these three things your defense will improve drastically. Now, if this is your first time checking out one of my videos and you want to stay up to date on the latest Madden tips and news all year long, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you never miss any uploads. Also, if you're interested in joining the membership below, I do offer exclusive members only videos, including extra tips, playbook breakdowns, and more. So let's get into the today's three tips. I like to do a few of these videos a year where I combine very important tips into a video about things that people are struggling with. The number one tip in this video is going to be using bare fronts to stop the run. People know that the run is so crazy this year. It's so hard to stop the run for most people. But if you use a bare front, you're going to make it really tough on your opponent to run the ball on you. So there's two types of formations in the game that have a bare front. Uh, you have 3-4 bare and you have 4-6 bare. I personally recommend the 3-4 bare, uh, but you can use the 4-6 bare. It's going to work pretty much just as well. Now, when I use the 3-4 bare, the play I like the most is the cover 1 QB contain. Some people like cover 2 invert or pinch dog 3 or pinch buck 0. Oh, all of those can work. I just find the cover 1 QB contain is what I have the most success with when I'm just trying to stop someone that just wants to run the ball. So, I'll pop up on the screen the playbooks you can find this in. I recommend the Giants playbook. I'll also pop up on the screen the playbooks that do have the 4-6 bare, and you can use something similar out of the 4-6 bare as well. And the, the idea here is just to make it tough on your opponent to run the ball. It doesn't mean that you're going to stuff them every single play because it is Madden sometimes your guys are just going to pursue the ball very bad sometimes you as the user are going to have to make the play and you might whiff and they can still break a run on you sometimes they're going to break tackles there's nothing you can do about that but what you want to do is set yourself up to have the best chance to stop the ball so the great thing about this is there's no setup to the defense all I do is get on my free safety and I bring them down into the box because I got to get out there and help stop the run I either got to fill the gap if it's an inside run or if it's an outside run I want to get out and help contain the edge if it's a pass or a play action then I'm just going to kind of hover around the middle and just try to pick up any route that comes over the middle so they can't throw it so we're going to go against the i form close stretch first one of the most popular and best runs in the game when you see this formation you can think one of two things they're either going to run a stretch to the tight end side or a toss the toss isn't as good this year uh, or they're going to run a dive up the middle that's basically the two things most people are going to do so what you want to do is just get out on the edge and you just want to help contain that's all you want to do is help contain sometimes you're going to have a cutback lane there that kind of opened up as you saw you're going to want to fill that a little bit better than i did there but you see we still limited them to like what a yard at most and uh you know you just get out here and you like you just want to help contain the edge there you see he almost tried to break the tackle but we have too many bodies over there and it's hard to run on this now another pro tip that you can use that i covered in another video is when they run the ball, when you see it's a run, you can click the right joystick in. So you're like you're actually pushing the right joystick in, and that'll make all your like defenders kind of commit more to the run. So you can like throw that in as well. It's like a two for one, and that's gonna help because it'll take your cornerbacks that are kind of in a back pedal. It'll take them out of that back pedal, and they'll come you know forward a lot quicker, and you're gonna stop stuff the run. So you see here, the stretch is really just bottled up. This does a really good job at containing the outside runs. If they want to go up the middle, I mean you just watch what happens. So all right, they're coming up the middle. You just want to get in here and try. To help contain but usually one of your guys just like von miller did there it's going to come off the edge just absolutely lockdown defense when you use these bare fronts but i want to show it versus just a couple other runs just so you know how consistent it is because you know anything could just stop one run one formation right so we'll look at the h wing stretch that's another really tough stretch to stop this is the rpo version because i don't have the regular stretch in this playbook but it works all the same so same thing just bring your free safety down into the box you know that they're nine times out of ten they're either they're gonna run a dive or they're running some type of a stretch or a power over to the right that's basically what's gonna happen and you just want to get over here help contain now he broke the tackle there again there's nothing you could do about that if, if he doesn't break the tackle there he loses yards that's just madden sometimes the dice is not gonna roll your way but what was important there is that he had nowhere to go if he doesn't break the tackle he loses yards and they're not going to break a tackle every single time. I mean, yeah, if you got somebody with armbar out there, it's going to be a little more consistent. You're going to want to click on and, and do a low hit stick down on the right stick, kind of chop them at the legs if you're dealing with the armbar running back. But otherwise, I mean, you're pretty much good money. There they gashed us. Like, again, sometimes the pursuit's going to be bad. Me, myself there, I pursued the ball bad. That was more on me than anything else. But, of course, the AI defenders didn't really help me out very much either because they pursue the ball pretty bad almost every time. But you see, there I kind of got the cutback lane. I made him have to go back to the middle there's nowhere he can go you see the majority of the time he's being met at the line of scrimmage so he's getting no gain but yes every once in a while you'll get popped 
you'll get popped every once in a while. That's just Madden 20, but you just don't want to get popped every play. So one last run, we'll look at the eye close slot stretch. Most people run this to the left behind the wide receiver so you kind of can anticipate that when you see this formation kind of get a little bit of a head start and you're going to be able to get out there and contain them there we just we got spun out by the computer the computer the computer's fake out is just unlike it's it's better than a human fake out it's just crazy but i mean we had the bodies out there and that's what you want you want the bodies out there to see you're limiting them to a yard to a negative yard or to no yard gain that's that's basically what you're looking to do with this defense so again three four bear four six bear it's going to give you the best you know chance to succeed at stopping the run you see here you got like three yards we're not we're not giving up huge gains we're, we're making it tough and when he is getting yards he's typically either other than the one run the one run where we just hit the gap wrong he's either breaking the tackle or you know he's in like a, a cluster of people and he's not really you know he's he might bumble forward for a couple yards but he's not really just he doesn't have no clear lane to run through so that's the number one tip number two tip is going to be how to stop the goal line offense in those short yardage situations how to stuff the runs out of goal line so that you never have to give up those fourth and inches those third and inches things like that ever again the main two things you're going to want to know how to stop are going to be the qb sneak and the halfback toss because that's what most people are going to go to out of this they're going to try to sneak you in the short yard situation if you stuff their sneak once or twice then they're going to try to audible to a toss and catch you off guard this defense I'm about to show you will, for the most part, the majority of the time, will stop both for no yards gain. So what you want to do is go to the goal line 5-3-3 and you want to pick the play 60 double blitz. Now the setup for this is very simple. You want to do two main things. One is base align, which is wire triangle right on the left stick. Then you want to crash your defensive line down, which is left on the D-pad, down on the right stick. Now if you have time, I like to take this left cornerback here that is in the uh the hard flat i want to slide him out a little bit to the left just to help him contain if they try to run a toss to the weak side this should pretty much bottle that up now the qb sneak you don't have to do anything to stop the sneak this setup alone should hit the sneak for no yard gain or even like you might lose a few inches on it the majority of the time there could be a few instances where the qb gets that lucky animation where he kind of trucks forward there's literally nothing you could do about that it's gonna happen sometimes but the majority of the time you will stuff this for no yards gain just like that and you see he actually fumbled the ball there he got no gain fumbled the ball but fortunately we didn't pick it back up but that's what's gonna happen the far majority of the time so very crucial because you get people in fourth and inches third and inches or you get people inside the you know two yard line and they're like oh, i'll just do like three or four qb sneaks and i'll get in no you can't do that with this because just like that you're gonna stuff it go backwards even if you just need inches this for the most part you won't be able to pick it up on this unless you get that lucky like falling forward truck animation which again there's nothing you can do about that see i mean it's stuffed every single time now thinking about well what if they go to the toss well the toss you have to kind of get out there and help stop the toss so you're always going to want to be on the inside linebacker here the guy that's manned up on the a tight end and you want to anticipate toss because you already know you don't have to do anything to stop the sneak the defensive line alone will stop the sneak for you so you want to always be kind of thinking strong side toss because the side with the two tight ends, you could see the A and the B tight end, that is the majority of the time where they're going to toss the ball. They want to toss the ball where they're going to have the most blockers. If they go weak side, you do want to sh try to shoot over there and help contain, but you should be okay on the weak side because there's not enough blockers over there. So when they toss, you want to just be thinking, come out here and you want to help contain and you could see he lost like two yards there. It's really hard to run on this. Again, just like the other thing I showed you with the 3-4 bear, yeah, sometimes you still could get gashed. It's happened to me with this before. Sometimes, you know, you might whiff or, you know, you might slip up, whatever. The pursuit angle might not be the best and, and they get out there. But the majority of the time you see they're losing yards. They already just lost five yards because a lot of times that's going to happen. One of those guys is going to kind of just shoot in untouched or worst case, they're going to block but contain the edge and they're going to leave that kind of that gap open for you to come shoot in there just like so. Kind of help filling the lanes. Now you see there he broke, broke the tackle and he still lost like four yards. It's bottled up. Now, that's what you want to anticipate because you don't have to stop the sneak yourself. So you want to already kind of like you could stand in the middle, like, you know, right around here. And you want to like be thinking right side. You kind of want to just shoot there regardless, like automatically, unless you just see like, oh, they're going left. Then, of course, get out here to the left. But you see that cornerback will usually come down, bottle that up. So 
Goal line is, is, is shut down if you run this right. Like I said, sometimes will they maybe break one off on you, get lucky, break a tackle, whatever, sure. But you could see that you're putting the guys out there to contain the edge, to contain the sneak, bottle it up, and you're not going to give up a lot of yards when they try to do that. So when people get inside the five on you and they want to just go to that, they're locked up. If they get a fourth and inches, you know 90% of the time you're going to get the ball back if they try to go with that offense on you. The third tip is going to be shading your defense down to stop those pesky underneath routes. I I cover this when I do this video every year, and I'm going to probably continue to do it every year because people still keep complaining about this. So I'm going to come out and cover three here. What people always complain about is they can't stop drag routes. They're just, they're like unstoppable. They get, you know, they get five yards of play. There's nothing you can do about them, right? So first off, we'll look at this cover three right here, right? I'm not going to change anything. I'm going to leave it stock, leave those purple curl flats out there. Those zones are okay. They can defend certain things well, but they're not going to defend drags well. Like you could have dual drags on both sides of the field and you'll pretty much get about five yards of pop, five to six yards of pop, most plays with them. Very simple, very easy. And yes, that means every two downs, you'll be moving the chains. So if you just allow someone to dink and dunk you underneath for five yards a pop, I mean, Von Miller's just getting absolutely out of his mind right there. So yeah, if you have that going for you, then you might not get, uh, you know, five yards of play. But typically, um, I mean, like we really have to avoid this pass rush, but you could see there what we got 12 yards. You can't stop underneath drags if you simply are going to just play like stock cover three, stock cover four, even stock cover two. I mean, there we would have had another five yards inaccurate pass. You get what I'm saying? But here's the kicker. You know what else you also won't be able to do? Because you say, okay, well, at least I'll stop like the deeper routes, right? But you usually won't because the zones and Madden's, especially this year, aren't really good. So this corner out here to Julio Jones, you'll say, well, at least we could stop that route. You can't though, because you could just throw this to the sideline and you're going to catch it. So you're not going to stop anything <laughs> typically a deep crossing route you won't stop that either you know how hard those are to stop if the pass rush doesn't get to you you get a deep crossing route against any zone in the game so why not do something that could at least allow your defense to take something away so by shading down which is wire triangle down on the right stick now you see we have hard flats on the field not only that but these two middle linebackers in the hook zone they're going to play a little more aggressive as well so you saw with just running the play stock we can't stop we're not going to stop deep routes like crossers posts or corner routes you're just not going to do that but you're also not going to stop the underneath but now with the shade down you actually can stop the underneath routes you could see bottled it up there you got about three yards and that was best case scenario that was honestly best case scenario usually you might get no yards or you could even get picked off to the house when you do this right so now we'll go the other way with it we're shading down you see the linebackers are playing aggressive the outside cornerbacks there he didn't get any yards there he at best got back to the line of scrimmage it's locked down Again, wire triangle down on the right stick to shade down. That's it. You don't have to worry about drag routes no more. Drag routes are no more. Like, they're completely shut down. Look, you got about a yard, yard and a half there. You can't throw this when you shade down. Now, yes, the corner route and the deep route will still be open, but you saw when you left the defense stock, it was still open anyway. So what I recommend is when you run cover three or cover four, you want to shade those purple zones down to hard flats, and then you want to try to manually take away whatever deep route you think is coming. So if I think that corner route's coming, I'll run out there myself and try to take that away. And then when you have good pass rushers, that's another thing is that a lot of the deep routes on, you know, every so plays, every, you know, few plays, they don't even have time to develop because the pass rush is so good. So shade down, allow your AI defenders to take away the short stuff, and then you say, okay, well, I'm going to go take away the corner. Now I'm going to jump back over the middle and try to get this tight end that's coming open because you're not going to, you're not going to stop everything. Okay. Like I hate to break it to you, but no defense is just going to lock everything up. Not typically. Maybe you get lucky sometimes, but that's not the case. So we have our defense shaded down to stop the underneath stuff. I'm going to run with the corner and then yes, I see the tight ends going to come open underneath. So I'm with this and then I want to bail out. You see how I'm with 52 here. I'm running with Julio for a little bit. Then I'm saying, okay, let me bail out and try to jump back over the middle because what a good opponent would do would see that I'm on Julio and then try to come back over the middle. But now I'm trying to come back over the middle and kind of rob him. But Von Miller's so good that he got to the quarterback before he could even think of doing that. So that's kind of how you want to play defense. I'll show you really quickly. Same thing with the cover four. And then we'll, we'll just get out of here after that. So cover four, drop show two, and we'll show the same thing. If you don't, if we'll leave the purple zones at first, right? We'll, we'll do no changges. We'll just run drag routes, right? You know, we we'll do it real quick because it's, just, it's the same thing, right? Drag route, you can't stop it up the field. I mean, there's nine yards. And then the same thing's going to happen. This isn't going to stop a deep cross. It's not going to stop a corner route. So look, we'll throw the corner route here. No adjustments. You're going to see, okay, 
Can't stop the corner out. It's wide open. So if you can't stop either thing, you're not doing yourself any favors. Favors. Shade down, wire triangle down on the right stick. And at least now you're taking away the short stuff. Short stuff's gone now. They can't throw short stuff anymore. So, again, you want to try to manually take away, you know, whatever the case may be. All right, I'm on Julio Jones. Like, like I can't throw the drag to B because B's locked up. And now the pass rush is getting in there. So, go to the replay really quickly. I didn't put the other, the X receiver on the drag this time. I let him go straight. But you get the idea, right? I'm running over there. You see me running with Julio Jones. You know, if he wanted to throw the drag here, there's a chance this guy could jump it. You know, this is Bradley Chubb out here. So, he probably wouldn't jump it because he doesn't have great zone coverage. But he's going to rally down, tackle him for like a gain of two yards or less. I'm up here with Julio. This guy's sitting over the middle. Like, that's what you want to do. Shade down so they can't dink and dunk you with drag routes, flat routes, those, like, baby in routes. They can't throw any of that on you if you're shaded down. And then you want to manually cover the deep routes because the truth is the AI is not going to cover the deep routes no matter what you do for the most part. You have to try to manually take those away and let your pass rush get there. So let your defense do what it can actually do well, which is play the flats. They will play the flats pretty decently by shading down. So that's what you want to do. Let them take something away, and then you try to take away the bigger routes while you wait for your pass rush to come free. So that's all for today. Hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, as always, you know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.